Walking through the exhibit at the American University Museum today, Melvin. Topper Carew feels like he's come home. You know, I was born in Boston, but I feel like I grew up in D.C. The exhibit of photos and artifacts curated by students from D.C.'s Jackson Reed High School capture the excitement and energy that was the New Thing Art and Architecture Center at 18th Street and Florida Avenue in Adams Morgan. The New Thing served D.C. youth from 1966 to 1972. Carew, who studied architecture at Howard University, created the New Thing as a way to provide hope to the district's youth. I also wanted to uh, broaden the cultural tapestry in Washington, D.C. To, to, to let people know that jazz and blues and black art and, you know, and black literature was as important as anything else in the District of Columbia. So I was, I was, I was helping to paint another picture of D.C. The new thing gave young people the opportunity to learn from artists, academics, and musicians like Stevie Wonder, who performed a free concert for The New Thing in 1967. He hit that stage and those kids loved him. Carew went on to a prolific career in film, television, and radio, but all of his work is influenced by his time here in D.C. I discovered my voice and the uh, intentionality of my work, which has been about, you know, equity, justice, excellence, Today's interview was a full circle moment for both Carew and myself. As Carew noted 54 years ago, while organizing a blues festival for the new thing, he was interviewed by my father, John Seagraves, for the Washington Star. This is a personal connection because your, your dad gave me a chance to voice what I believe to a lot of people. And now here I am talking to you, his son, and being interviewed, and that's thrilling because you, you, you love to connect with your past, you know, and thank you to, to your dad for putting those words, you know, that will ever, forever be, forever be. In the district, completing the circle, Mark Seagraves, News 4. What an amazing story. Topper Carew touched so many lives and Mark's incredible connection. By the way, Mr. Carew's latest project is a recording of school children singing This Little Light of Mine. It's being broadcast from the International Space Station right now. Tonight's event at the AFI includes a short documentary and a conversation with Carew. The exhibit at the American University Museum runs through March 17th.